Now it is well known that the sum of the first n natural numbers is equal to n m plus 1 over 2. Sometimes we write this as the summation r, r equals 1 to n. Now this is easy to prove and it is natural to ask what would be the sum of the square of the first n natural numbers. And this turns out that it is n m plus 1 2m plus 1 over 6. Of course, this can be also written as summation r squared from r equals 1 to n. Almost every year, I was asked by students how to prove the second equation. So I'm going to give you a few different proofs. I'll show you one using a geometrical proof. Take for example, 1 square, 2 square, 3 square and 4 square. This is actually 1 of 1, 2 of 2, 3 of 3, and 4 of 4. We will see this as 1 of 1. I have 1 circle of value of 1, 2 circles of value of 2, 3 circles of value of 3, and 4 circles of value of 4. So let's say this value is equal to s. I'm going to rotate this 60 degree clockwise. After rotate 60 degree clockwise, 1, 2, 3, 4 will become 1, 2, 3, 4. 2, 3, 4 will become 2, 3, 4. And 3, 4. And 4. After we rotate this, the sum still remains the same. And now I rotate one more time, I will get this. Uh, we can see that the row 4 initially is here. After we rotate, it will be here. Then the next one, it will be of this line 444, 333, 22, and 1. Again, the sum of all these numbers here should be exactly equal to 4. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add everything. I'm going to add the number at the same position. So the first one will be 1 plus 4 plus 4. And the second one will be 2, 4 and 3. 2, 4 and 3. And 2, 3 and 4. 2, 3 and 4. Last but not least, 4, 1, 4. 4, 1 and 4. Interestingly, the sum of this 1 plus 4 plus 4 is 9. 2, 4 and 3, also a sum of 9. 3, 3, 3, also a sum of 9. Then we know that actually this S will be equal to, uh, we have a total of 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. So we have 10 of them times each of these is equal to 9. The total sum here is actually come from this 3s. So we have to divide by 3. So that is the sum and equals to 30. Of course, for these four numbers, we can easily add it. 1, 4, 9, and 16. It is equal to 30. It gives us some idea how to do it in general. So when you have four terms, we say this is S4. When you have N term, the similar method still can be applied. That is, we write 1 of 1, 2 of 2, 3 of 3, 4 of 4, until N of N. We rotate 60 degree once and 60 degree twice. And add up the corresponding entry. And you will see that each of these is exactly the same sum. And the sum is actually equal to 2N plus 1. So, how many numbers that we can have here? It is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n. So it's 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n. And each of the sum here is actually equal to 2n plus 1. And don't forget that we already add up 3 times. So it must be divided by 3. And using the previous formula, we know that 1 plus 2 plus 3 up to n is equal to n, n plus 1 over 2, 
over 2 and over 3, then you'll be over 6. And that's right, we have the formula n, n plus 1, 2 n plus 1 over 6. This is n of the first method using the visualization.